What we'll need for TLC analysis is, uh, first of all, thin layer chromatography plate. This is uh, matte on one side, shiny on the other. We're going to be uh, spotting the uh, side which is not reflected, that's coated with the silica. Uh, you'll need a sharp number two pencil, a ruler with a millimeter scale, micro capillaries, a lot like melting point capillaries, uh, except a little thinner and open at both ends, uh, standards of the samples to be analyzed, and a developing jar for each solvent that we're going to be using. Begin by making a mark at the edge of the TLC plate to indicate the origin. Just mark the side and not a line all the way across the plate. At the top, you can indicate what samples you're going to be spotting. We'll do A, B, C, then our unknown, and samples D and E. And this is for the DNP experiment. To load a sample, let a little bit of the liquid travel up the microcapillary. It's important to hold your finger over at the end and then apply the spot right at the origin line. Here I'm using the line on an index card to indicate the origin point on the plate. It's a good idea to begin by practicing with a practice plate before actually spotting. I have a jar with uh, enough solvent to cover the bottom of the jar and a paper liner. This has been sitting for a while so that the vapor is saturated with the solvent, toluene in this case. I'm going to handle the plate by the edges and place it slowly in the developing jar. I want to do this carefully and place the plate in there so it only touches the edges of the jar at the two top corners. And then I'm going to let it sit undisturbed on the bench top until the solvent runs up to within about one centimeter from the top. Oh, if you have a, a streak, like in this example where we've chromatographed ink from various pens, uh, instead of a discrete spot, there's a streak. That means that you've overloaded the plate. Uh, the thing to do then is to dilute the sample and spot it on a fresh plate, run it again.